Hi everybody, welcome back. And I just wanted to show you this steal of a deal that I got on Facebook Marketplace. It's a little buttery yellow for me, but I'm going to be trying to match this up with my coffee table, which is a rustic wood, uh, kind of like that Mexican pine kind of. So I'll show you uh, that table in a minute. But right now I'm going to show you what I use to make this look like a rustic wood piece. Now I'm using, as always, my Waverly Antique Wax. I will put a link below to everything that's in this video. Um, if it's not from where I got it, sometimes I get stuff from Walmart or other places, I will make sure to link a similar item below. So this was a hundred dollars on Facebook Marketplace. But you need to always, if you think it is not worth a hundred dollars, you can always ask for a reduction. You just never know. I asked the guy, I see that he's had it listed for a while because I seen it like several weeks ago. And I asked him, do you think I can offer you $50? I mean, it's up to you. There's and he said yes. So my husband went to pick this up. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that the yellow would not work. It looked lighter in the picture. So I decided to go ahead and, you know, try my antiquing wax. And it worked, you guys. Just wait till it looks like what it looks like in the end. So what I did was I just took one of these sponges. I got these sponges at Dollar tree and it comes to like in a pack of six i think it is and i just took my antiquing wet wax and just put it over now sometimes it will dry a little faster than other things so i just wanted to let you know that you have to work a little bit faster than the gel stain that's what i wanted to say so you have to be careful with that. So all I'm doing is, the point is just to put it all over the place as soon as possible. Now, after you finish covering, you have to go step by step. Don't do the whole thing and then do my second step. You've got to work one area at a time because the wax will dry and you can't do the second step. The second step is very, very important for it to look like wood. Now already it looks like a stained piece of wood. And actually, I think this thing is MDF. It's heavy, heavy, but I think it's MDF. But either way, a painted piece doesn't have to be sanded down and then cleaned and then all that. So here I'm showing you what I do. So I take the old clean broom and I brush it back and forth. Now, I notice that it worked better when I went from one edge all the way to the end with no stop. If you stop, there will, it'll show. Although this is quote unquote, a rustic piece. So I really don't, didn't mind that much. Um, if I saw a little, you know, a little bit more stain on one side than the other, or I just didn't brush it all the way. I thought it just came out so good. I only did the top at this point and I was thinking, this is actually coming out all right. I mean, I'm really impressed of how this wax is working and with the brush method. I think I saw one day a video, um, I think her channel is called Black Sheep, I think. And she does a lot of uh, painting on, you know, I'm not really, I don't paint furniture that much. Um, I mean, I'll just do little small things here and there, but I recently did a dining room table and I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone is what I'm trying to say. So I did the dining room table and now I'm doing this and I'm actually, I, I just can't believe how this is actually coming out all right. So anyways, here is, I'm doing the side now and eventually I just do the rest. Um, I didn't have a way to record myself doing the front part where the all the little slats are and the little X's and all that. That was the hardest part 
to the project, I ended up having to use the wax and just push it in with my finger around the edges and trying to use the broom as best I could. Um, eventually, I'm going to have to remove some of that wax from the glass, but I don't think that's a big deal. It's kind of like a mirror. When you paint a mirror, you just spray Windex on it and it comes right off. I'm hoping that's what happens. But either way, um, the brush, I mean, it's kind of the way you like to make it look. If you want it lighter, of course, you're going to be removing some of the wax a little more. I left it this way because, as I showed you earlier, my coffee table is very rustic mexican pine and uh, that's the look i was trying to go for so here it is guys i i think it came out so cute and now i have um a video that's going to be coming out soon and the way i'm going to be styling this so i hope you enjoyed i hope i didn't miss anything if you have any questions please let me know below and also please subscribe a lot of people do not describe but subscribe but they watch my video all the time so i would be very privileged to have you here at our classic home